Hello there, this is Jay from JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials for Mac users. And in this video tutorial, I will be talking about the interface in AutoCAD for Mac. So um, literally the interface in AutoCAD has commands in every single direction. So if you look to the top, to the right, to the bottom, or to the left, you will see there is commands. And the way we're gonna do this right now, I'm gonna start from the very top and then we will work our way going down, okay? So from the very top over here, we have what's called the menu bar. And essentially the majority of AutoCAD commands are bundled under each uh, menu pretty much, and we can access them from here. And then right under it here, we have another bar. Uh, I'm gonna call it the quick access uh, toolbar. And basically it has a combination uh, of commands that you would commonly like use or you would often use such as the new drawing button or opening a drawing, save button, save as, and here we have the undo button and we have the redo button to name a few. And then going right under that, we have what's called the file tabs. And right here, we have what's called drawing one. I have another file here called floor plan open. And I have another, um, I'm gonna switch here to the model. I have here uh, another uh, drawing, which has, which is essentially a CAD blocks library so going back to drawing one uh, basically what i want to say about the file tabs is that autocad allows you to open multiple drawings or multiple files at the same time and then you can navigate between them uh, by clicking on these uh, different tabs all right so uh, going forward let's see if we look to the left side what we have here this section over here is called the tool sets and basically it's a collection of commands that are bundled under sections. So for example, here we have the drawing commands bundled under draw, and then we have hatch commands, the block commands, and then modifying commands and so on, All right? So again, these guys are called, this area of the interface is called the tool sets. And then if we look here in the center, this area is called the drawing area. And that's what I like to call it because this is where we draw uh, our project, or as AutoCAD calls it, it calls it the model space pretty much. And you can see where it says model from here from the bottom left, it says that this is the model space. And this is basically the area where you do all the drawing for your project. You put all the floor plans, elevations, and whatnot. I'll show an example here. I'll switch here to model. And here we go. This is where I have the floor plan drawing pretty much. All right. And then, um, Going now to the right, looking at the right side of the interface, we have here what's called the palette tab. Uh, palette tabs, pretty much on the right side. And uh, by default, you should be seeing uh, an interface similar to what I have here. Maybe not with, uh, maybe without all these layers here. I'm going to switch to drawing one, uh, something more like this, pretty much. Uh, and then here on this palette tabs, we have first we have the layers tab, and then we have the reference manager tab. And then we have what's called the blocks tab, pretty much. And these guys, you would you would switch between them as you are working. Uh, the first one actually has two areas. It has the layers, and then under it, it has the properties. Okay, this is called the properties inspector. All right. And now, if we look, if we go back to the central area and we look down here, we have here what's called the command line. And essentially, the command line you can type the commands that you want to use rather than clicking, for example, on line here to start the line drawing command. You can actually type here, let's say line, and then click return on the keyboard and that will start the line command. And then you can just use it with the, with the mouse pretty much, right? I'm going to click return to finish that command. Um, and then looking at the bottom left side of the interface right here, uh, I'm gonna call these the workspaces. And essentially AutoCAD has mainly two workspaces. We have the model space uh, or the drawing area, which is where we are right now. And then it has paper spaces or layouts. So here we have layout one, layout two. So this is basically called the layout tabs pretty much. And uh, what's the difference between the model and layout uh, or model space and paper spaces is that layouts is basically where we do the printing later on. Uh, in the project. After you finish drawing everything in the model, you would come here to a paper and you would put the information. And I actually have an example already open here on this floor plan. 
think I put it in the layout one. So after I finished the drawing this floor plan, I came to this layout and I uh, changed the settings to have a paper size of 36 by 24. Uh, I have a title block here uh, on the right side. It's empty actually. Uh, this is just an example anyway. And I have the floor plan over here and this sheet or this layout or this paper space is ready to be uh, exported into a PDF or printed directly to a printer. So, uh, so that's about the layout tabs. Uh, actually, what I want to mention is that you can have multiple layout tabs, but we only have one model space. So the model space is just one big area, one infinite area when you, where you do the drawing. But layouts is basically where you break down the project into several sheets. And then to the far right of the interface, far bottom right of the interface of AutoCAD, here we have these, this collection of commands. Uh, it's called the status bar. I like to call it the drafting settings pretty much. And these guys essentially help you uh, draw accurately in AutoCAD. Um, for example, we have here, just to show one example, back to drawing, to model. So let's say to draw a straight line, I'm going to start the line command here. Uh, see when we click here and we get this green reference line. This is actually part of a feature here on the bottom. It's called the polar tracking. If we have that inactive, then we will not get this green reference line we were seeing earlier. We will need to have that uh, active. And then we are now able to get uh, a green reference line that represents a straight line. All right. And that was it regarding the interface uh, for AutoCAD Mac version.